Hi everybody, it's Donna here, occasionally Zsa Zsa, and I'm here with a quick project share. This one uh, happens to be the lampshade that I showed you on my last video at the end, um, the video that I had done the dress form uh, decoupage on. Uh, well, at the end I showed you a, a lampshade that I got at a thrift store. It's actually half a lampshade, and it's kind of like a sconce type thing. It sets on the wall. Um, and so I was able to tackle that. What I did do, um, I wasn't planning to strip it all down to the frame, but I did do that. It um, was a little bit more challenging than I had anticipated. It was tough getting the fabric back on, one that would fit right because of the curves and um, just the ribs of the you know, lampshade frame. But anyway, I was able to pull it off and did it. And so I will show it to you now. So here it is. I hope the lighting's okay. So here it is. And this is, let me just hold it up here, under there. There we go. Um, so this is it. This is the bottom fringe, and as you can see, um, it comes into points and that's what I like it's not straight across fringe and these this fringe is reused everything uh, in terms of the fringes and the beads are um, were taken off and reused from the other other lampshade the only thing that's new on here is the fabric I had the fabric um, it is a Waverly fabric and I had this fabric in my stash what I found a little bit challenging was this fabric um, is blue. It's a light blue. There are blue in the beads. There's a few mint green. Sporadically there's some amber and the rest of clear crystal pretty much. Uh, they do have some gold bugle beads in between the larger round beads and some clear um, like teardrop shape at the bottom. Uh, but anyway, so this fabric, I wanted some, a fabric with a pattern. And as you can see, this is a pretty busy fabric. Um, it, you know, with its seams and things like that, it's like a twill uh, fabric. It, um, so anyway, uh, but I was able to get it. And as it flares out, that's where it became a little difficult. But I was able to do it, so... The beads were filthy, dirty, rotten, and <laughs> I took a paper cup, um, plastic cup actually, and I took, when I took these um, beads off, I held on to the fabric, I, I rolled them up, and I held on to the fabric so the beads just came straight down, and I took them in, and I was dunking them in this um, cup of hot soapy water. And I did it with all of them, and then I laid it out on a paper towel, patted them dry, let them air dry. But let me tell you, I was surprised on how black the water was. It was really dark, and I think it was just from years of dust. Um, so, yeah, they're much cleaner and pretty shiny now, so I'm happy about that. So let me just go over it real quick. Uh, let's start with the back, actually. I don't want to forget to show you that because this is was the real challenge was this back. So it's all got some nice new. It's not a satin, but it's just a like a lining. You know, you find in the lining of blazers and things like that. That's what I used. It was very similar type of fabric that was on there before, and then I just finished it off around the edge with some seam binding. And forgive the glue strings, I'm still picking them off. But um, then here, as you can see, I used a cotton lace, of which I did tea dye or coffee dye a little bit. When I had uh, this done, I didn't have this on. And when I looked at it, it just looked so elongated and just so long, and then the trim on the bottom. And I just didn't like it. I, I, there was something about it that it looked odd to me. So I wanted to put something on here that broke up this long, because it is a tall, slender uh, shade. And so I found this after trying about 
30 different laces against it to see which one would look good. Um, and I thought it really worked well with it. And the, and the color goes just perfectly with the background um, with these people. So it's cream, there's some browns, light browns, a little dark brown, and the, the blue. And in the fringe you can see we have, um, we've got blue and amber and, and a light green as well. Those are all the colors in the fringe, so it actually goes nicely. On the bottom here, there were flower um, embroidery, you know, on this as well. And so that was perfect to add a little something, because just with the cotton, it was still plain. And I needed something else just to kind of give it a little pop without being too gaudy, because, I mean, we've got all the speed work. I've got all this busyness on the fabric. And like I said, I didn't want it to be too much. So, that is it. Let me just turn the light down a little bit more. I don't know if that would be a little bit more helpful in seeing it. Um, so, yeah, that's it. There are two rows of beads on the top, one single row on the bottom. The top row hangs just like the bottom row, straight down normally. The second row underneath here is inverted, and that's how it was on the other one. So, it's almost like they took the trim and they flipped it upside down and I, I did it again on here um, because I, I like the thickness and I like how it puffs it out a bit and I think that's why they did it um, because it gives it that look but that is my lampshade I think I think it's gonna work well I don't have a lot of light blue that was a challenge for me um, I do have a lot of peaches and pinks and mint green and, you know, that pastel, but I don't have a lot of light blue. So this was a challenge in terms of um, getting it embellished, but not as much as a challenge as when I work with black. That's a wicked challenge. But anyway, I like it. I'm going to use it, and I think it will be beautiful on the wall. So... Uh, I hope you like it too. That's it for my, now. I don't know what I'm going to be doing next. Uh, typically, I like to give you a heads up. I've got a few projects in the works. Um, so I guess you'll just have to stay tuned and see what I come up with. Um, hopefully, I'll get some time over the weekend to do some other things. So I hope you had a great day today. Um, take care, and I'll see you all soon. Bye for now.